we talked about the vertex form y equals a parentheses x minus h plus k. So the a and the h and the k all do special things. And they can only do that. So go ahead and like put a box around this or something. Because this is how you're going to do your assignment today. So you need to make sure you look back at all that information. For the vertical stretch, we wrote this stuff down. Something I do want to remind y'all of is if x, I mean if a is greater than 1, so that's the number in front of the x squared, then that means it's a vertical stretch. So remember the rubber band, so you're going to vertically stretch it versus compressing it and making it fatter okay so that's a stretch it gets skinnier um you can look at your points like your bottom three points where you have your bowl and if it's a regular bowl then it's not a stretch but if it's like a taller skinnier bowl then it's a stretch and then compression go ahead and add the zeros less than a out front of that inequality zero is less than a is less than one When we determine whether it is a vertical stretch or compression, you don't look at the negative part of A. You only look at the actual number. So if the number is like 0 0.5, 0 0.75, you can also look at two-thirds, and you can look at it that way. So the A could be two-thirds, and two-thirds is like 0.6 repeating. So that would be a compression because it's between zero and one. So go ahead and add two thirds here. And then if A is negative, it's a reflection. So it's gonna look like that. And the H, which is the one inside the parentheses, it's your crazy. It determines left or right. So it does the opposite of what you would think. And then the K at the very end, it's not inside the parentheses, that determines the up and down. So you're going to use this on your assignment. We're going to do two examples on the next page. We're just going to write the transformation. Go ahead and write this down. Let's go ahead and write A, H, and K. And then we're going to write what each one means. So this is a negative. So the first thing that we know is, is that it's a reflection because it's negative. And then A is 3. So that means it's going to be a stretch, vertical stretch. So it's going to be a reflection and it's going to be a stretch. It's going to look like this. And then we can also look at our H and our K. So H, because it says X minus 4, so it's the crazy x because it's inside the parentheses. So it does the opposite of what you would think. Minus 4, we would think it goes left, but it's crazy, so it goes right. 4. And then the k determines the up and down. So since it says plus 1, it means up 1. We can also find our vertex right here. That coordinate is H, K. So it's a crazy X. So it's going to be a positive 4. And then K is 1. So the only one that's crazy is the X. The opposite of what it says in the parentheses. So these are all the pieces that you will put for a problem like this. You know, it had all the different transformation reflection because of the negative. Vertical stretch because of the 3, right 4 because it's minus 4, 
up one because it's plus four. Okay, we have one more. Y equals five over three x squared minus four. Okay, we know A is right here. We don't have an H because there's not anything inside the parentheses, but a K, we do have a K. H is zero. So it doesn't go left or right. So we first look, is the A negative? And it's not. But the A is five over three. So we've got to determine if that's between zero and one for compression, or if that's greater than one for stretch. So what you can do is just find out what is five over three. in the calculator 1.6 repeating so that means it's going to be a stretch because it's greater so we can go in right vertical stretch and it doesn't go left or right because there's nothing inside of parentheses but this minus 2 is our k k tells us up or down. So if it's minus two, that means it's going to go down two. So it's a vertical stretch, so we can write, um, draw a little U that's stretched out. It's not like a little bowl. Whenever I talk about the bowl, that's your first three points. A regular bowl will go up one over one. But if it's a stretch, it'll go up like two over one. Or maybe it's a compression, it'd go up half and over one. So we also need to know the vertex. The vertex is HK. Because there's nothing inside the parentheses, H is zero. And K is negative two. So that's going to help you on your assignment. You can always look at your equation in the calculator. So I'm just going to show you this one that we did yesterday. Oh, yeah, one like we did yesterday. You put this in, you hit graph. You can see where it's located. So you know it went left so many and down one, and it's a reflection. So you can find all the different parts by looking in the calculator. Or you can check your work to make sure that equation matches what the graph said. Okay, so your assignment for today is to finish the vertex form on all of these. And then on Monday, we're going to finish this column, which is standard form. So we're not doing this column yet.